Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. I have been meaning to do this video for at least a week now, but um, got busy and anyways, I'm here now. Um, I'm pretty much forced to do it today because I can't go outside. It is 105 degrees at this very, very moment. And um, tried to go to Target earlier. I did go, but I had to come right back home because that is just way too hot. So anyways, um, this is the hairstyle of choice for this type of weather. I just can't even deal with my hair touching my neck, being on my shoulders, nothing. So this is a perfect um, protective style, just the regular old bun. And it's kind of uh, got a little bit messed on, up because I've been taking my shirt on and off, changing clothes and, and whatnot. But anyways, <laughs> this is a video to talk about something that I have been doing pretty much from the beginning of my journey. How I did it or what I used has changed um, a little bit since the beginning, but I've been pretty, um, pretty much doing what I do now for at least a couple of years. So pre-pooing is what I'm talking about. Um, as you can tell from the title of the video. And I don't know, I've just been really excited about my pre-pooing uh, lately and I don't even really know why because I've been doing it for years, but it just, I don't know, every, every Saturday when I get ready to do it, I'm excited about it. So I thought I'd just share with you all exactly what it is that I do. So here we go. Um, I wash my hair, shampoo wash my hair every Sunday. So on Saturday night, the night before, I go ahead and get my hair ready for wash day. And to do that, I put my hair in four sections and I, uh, first of all, detangle my hair. So um, what I use to detangle my hair for a very long time, I had been using the Mane and Tail. I know all of you guys have seen this before, the Mane and Tail Detangler. Um, I recently, um, decided to switch because I was running out of this. There's probably about like this much left in here. But while I was using this, I noticed that sometimes it seemed like it would make my hair shed a little bit extra. Um, so I knew when this got, you know, finished, I wanted to maybe try something different and I have. And what that is, is the um, Love Naturals Don't Be So Clingy Detangler. This is the line by Kimmy Tube um, here on YouTube. Kim Love, I believe is her real name. So um, I know a lot of you are familiar with her line. I have used the um, one other product, the uh, Leave-In, I forget the exact name of it, but it didn't do much for my hair, so I never really talked about it, but I use it in my son's hair, and it's like a wonderful moisturizer for his little natural hair. So um, anyways, what I do is I just lightly mist my section of hair with water, just lightly, it's not at all wet, um, and then I kind of work some of this through the section and go ahead and detangle it with a wide tooth comb. I um, recently, like within the last couple of weeks, picked up the Magic Star comb. It's the Hercules Sageman um, seamless comb that a lot of people talk about. And I resisted buying this comb for so, so long because it's, with well, shipping I think it was like 20 bucks. So I'm like, I wasn't real sure about spending $20 for a comb, but um, I can say that it definitely reduces breakage. I mean, obviously you still shed hair and the shed hair is gonna come out. So I didn't notice any reduction in shed hair or anything, but the breaking hairs is significantly reduced with this comb. And also what I'll say about this comb is that once I've detangled my hair, it actually stays detangled. Um, I have a problem with Sometimes I'll fully detangle my hair, but by the time I've shampooed it, deep conditioned it, and trying to run the comb back through it after I put my leave-ins in, it's almost as if I had never detangled. But it's a different case with this comb. It kind of it seems to stay detangled better longer. Um, so that is what I do first. I do my detangling. And then I go ahead and add in my oils. Um, I pre-poo with oil. Uh, for a long time I was strictly using the De Beer Vitica coconut oil and I love this as you guys who watch my videos regularly know. Um, 
And now I've um, also added to my pre-pooing this emollients, it's called. It's a pre-treatment with kapuku butter and castor oil. I know I'm saying that wrong. Penetrating moisture for dry hair. So it's a pre-treatment as well. It looks like this. It's really thick. Uh, the smell is not so great. It kind of has a medicine-y smell. But um, I use this. So I'll use this one week and the next week I'll use this and then I'll just alternate between these two items for my pre-poos. So once I've put the oil in my hair, I'll go ahead and take a plastic cap and put that on my head and um, tie it up with a scarf. So I'll go to bed and when I wake up in the morning, my hair is just so, so soft. And inside the plastic shower cap, I can see some like condensation so that I know that that greenhouse effect has take, you know, worked on my hair. If you guys are familiar with the greenhouse effect, it's kind of like bagging, but it's not just for your ends, it's for your whole head. And I think, um, Miss, oh gosh, what's her name? Something Jael, Mika Jael, don't quote me on that. She's the one who came up with that whole, um, greenhouse effect thing so if you haven't uh, heard about it you definitely can put greenhouse effect for hair or something like that um, in your search on YouTube and her videos will come up or lots of other people demonstrating how it works um, will come up their videos will come up as well so that is what I do to pre poo I love it like I said before it I feel like it's just a special treat for my hair. I know some of you um, like to deep condition overnight with uh, conditioner and that's great too. Um, at the beginning of my journey I was doing that. I do feel like the coconut oil and also this other oil that I just kind of more recently started using have a better um, effect on my hair as a pre-poo and in fact um, there may be some science behind that which I'm not going to be the one to <laughs> explain science to you guys because I just can't um, but I'm gonna try to link a video that really very easily explains why pre-pooing with coconut oil might be a little bit more beneficial to your hair than pre-pooing with a conditioner if you're interested in kind of hearing about that so um, that is my pre-poo method that's what I do every Saturday that's what I'm gonna do tonight and I can't wait so yeah, if you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave a comment in the um, comments below. And then just the second part of this video is to let you guys know about um, an event that may be coming to your area. It's coming to my area and I'm so excited because I was talking to a friend um, and I was complaining that nothing, no hair shows or whatever never come to our area. Um, and she's actually here on YouTube too. Her name is Curly Locks and I will try to remember to link, um, put a link to her channel below. Um, here on YouTube and uh, I was talking with her and she was letting me know of all these things that go on in our area that I never had any clue about. So the Natural Hair Expo, I believe it is, I'm just gonna look at my iPad real quick, is coming, it's going to a lot of places and then in August it'll be in my area. So if you guys are in the San Francisco Bay Area come out and uh, come to the, the hair show. Um, it'll be, well it says Oakland, but I think it's actually in Berkeley um, on August 11th is what their website has right now. I'm gonna put a link to the website as well. So um, if you're in the area, come out and if you see me say hey, cause I definitely plan on being there. And um, yeah, I'm so excited because I've never been to a natural hair or any kind of hair, anything. So super excited about that. So I think that is all for this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic 4th of July and that you're safe and having lots of fun. So anyways, I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.